Good morning, good day, good evening, chocolate lover. Welcome to Chocolate TV, episode 350. Not bad, 350 on New Year's Eve 2018. Hmm. Good timing, right? And uh, today, Chocolat Bona. 75% uh, cocoa from beans from the village of Qua in Venezuela. Uh, most famous village for cocoa beans, Criollo beans. Uh, a white little church, uh, the cocoa beans dried on the square in front of the church. Uh, the village people uh, go out in the jungle and collect the beans. Well, it sounds very picturesque and delightful. I'm not sure it is, but who knows in these days. Um, origin Venezuela, le pays roi de cacao, incontestable numéro un. Romano Conti de Cacao est goût puissant et chaud. That's the French for the best cocoa beans you can find, uh, equivalent to Romano Conti wines. And yeah, let's see if it is. Cocoa mass, cocoa butter, and sugar in this one. Pure, simple, elegant. I hope. So on New Year's Eve, why try chocolate? Because it's Monday, and it's about six hours left to uh, the New Year, and the New Year will be celebrated with champagne. I'm gonna have a champagne uh, get together for those who want it. Not many, really, but there's it's their loss. We're gonna serve four different champagnes. And some hors d'oeuvres and appetizers from 9 o'clock until 12. So, this is a dark chocolate, has a very distinct dark brown reddish tint to it. Uh, maybe that's because it's Criollo, more red chocolate. The chocolate becomes more red if made with Criollo beans. So, let's uh, smell this one, see if it has any kind of distinctive scent. Dry wood, cocoa, red tea, not black tea, some sort of uh, sour red berries in there somewhere. Feel a slight Slight, slight, slight smokiness from the roasting of the beans. But there's some acidic, and that's the red berries there. Uh, yeah, see if it's balanced, if it's good, if it's high point, high grade. Very smooth chocolate, no tartness, uh, sweet bitterness. With that acidity, I felt on the nose. You got some wild raspberry. You got some red currant. And you got a mild cocoa flavor. And almost mixed with a coconut milk flavor as well. Very mild. There's no milk in this product, but it feels like I'm having a, a cup of uh, tea with milk. Or, no, not milk, cream. It's a cream flavor. The acidity lingers. It more like it's yeah, red currant as I said, wild raspberry. It turning slowly into lime. Still a very thick and creamy chocolate.
there's not a roller coaster of flavors, but there's a smooth transition from flavor to flavor as it plays on, on your on my palate. Your palate, I don't know. Try it. Ends with that roasted uh, chocolate feel that I felt on uh, had hints of on the nose. Not bad. A very nice and smooth chocolate. Do you like smooth chocolate? This is for you. So I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10. And that's it for 2018. Uh, this was episode 350. And let's say Happy New Year's. And see you in 2019.